Hi everyone. Today we will discuss the important topic of building is construction process of slab. Stay tuned and watch this video till last to know all the steps. So let's begin. This video is very useful for newcomers and fresher engineers who are joining on site. They should know basic things and basic procedure of slab. And this is very useful for college going students also. What is slab? Actually, a slab is a structural member of building which is consist of a flat horizontal surface made up of concrete. This is the main important part of building. In building, many different types of slabs are there like flat slab, conventional slab, cantilever slab, graded slab, sunken slab. So today we will study conventional slab in a building. First step is assemble and erection of palm work. So before starting the palm work, we need to support the palm work. So for supporting, we need to do staging. So the portion which supports centering and stuttering is called as staging. Staging must be rigid to take the load of palm work. Staging work is based on the site conditions, available materials on site. Generally, staging we can do with wooden, bullies, MS props can be used, across pen can be used, H frames is also used and most popular is nowadays is going on cup lock system as you can see in the photos so after completing this staging work we start form work in this we use wooden patti and chavi to rest 12 mm board of ply and this ply is fixed by using nail and overall this form work should be designed to take construction loads such as fresh concrete pressure weight of workers, operators and machines. Size of the beam should be as per drawing length, width, height and thickness of the slab should be as per the structural drawing. Next step is reinforcement work. But before doing reinforcement, we need to apply masking tape on the joints of ply. Generally, 3 inches applied to minimize the leakage of slurry during concrete. This is very necessary because if leakage of slurry is there then rough surface of concrete is visible avoided on site and to prevent sticking of palm work to concrete we apply the shuttering oil to ply oil not such amount as to run over bar so after this shuttering work is done site engineer should check size of the beam thickness of the slab line of slab and level of the slab as per structural drawing. If this is okay, then we can start next is reinforcement work. So let's start the second step preparation and placement of reinforcement part. Start as per structural drawing, bending and binding of steel bars. So for reinforcement work on steel yard, we prepare all the slab and beam steel as per requirement, as per drawing, diameters are provided, cutting length, hook, bend, all should be as per general detail. And these steel bars require for beam and slab get it done as per structural drawing. So after preparation of steel, we start placing of reinforcement bars as per specified facings and cover to concrete. Concrete cover and spacing maintain by facer bars we are provide chairs in slab to maintain the cover of two bars bottom bars and top bar as you can see chair is provided in slab as per requirement as per thickness and this reinforcement steel bars are bind with binding wire to tie the reinforcement bars in position and this steel is checked by structural engineer and site engineer it should be as per structural drawing after completing reinforcement work we next do is electrical and plumbing point or cutouts as we know concealed conduit electrical wiring systems are most popular nowadays because of aesthetical appearance and most commonly type of house electrical wiring use so this concealed conduit electrical pipe work should be done before casting of the slab generally pvc 
conduits are used in domestic wiring and this electrical wiring conduit work should be done as per electrical drawing and for plumbing and firefighting work if any sleeves or cutouts required need to be provided on slab before casting of slab as you can see sleeves and cutouts are provided in the slab in photos and this MEP work should be checked by MEP engineer before starting concrete work after all the respective checkings we can start pouring of concrete for slab casting we should plan systematic manner where the concrete should be mixed how we will transport the concrete and how we will pour the concrete in slab before pouring the concrete we have to provide walkway ghodas in slab for movement of workers and for staff to avoid the disturbance of steel bars in slab you can see how walkway ghodas are provided in slab in the photographs so after this as for concrete mixing should be done as per the design grade grade of concrete and depending on the site condition and availability of materials this concrete can be prepared on site in mixtures or can be arranged by rmc plant rmc concrete whatever is available as per the site condition and as per the concrete availability transportation of concrete should be done with the help of dumpers wheelbarrows tower cranes and if rmcs are there then directly concrete pumps can be used to pour concrete in slab while concreting we should start concrete from one of the perimeter at from one end of work should be started and from that end we can place the concrete at the same place previously poured means in the same place concrete is poured and we can come in backward direction to complete the slab casting and this concrete should not be get segregated it should be avoided this concrete should be poured continuously on previously poured concrete this fresh concrete should be vibrated with the help of needles until bubble stop rising to surface concrete should be compacted properly we should remove the entrapped air in concrete and this concrete should be with the help of trowel or floaters give smooth surface top surface of the concrete we are doing leveling work of concrete as you can see in photographs concrete level surface after 1 hour we carry light brooming on the slab top before curing so after finishing of the slab work we next start fifth step is curing of concrete and removal of form work as after finishing ended as soon as concrete gets dry enough and no thumb impression is observed concrete during concrete then curing of concrete should be started this curing period is as per different cement grades are there 7 days 10 days and 14 days depending on the grade and type of concrete we are using for curing different methods are there we can make water by using cements and mortar and this water can be filled with water or concrete is flooded or water curing by spraying water on slab these are the methods so after this curing as per the structure beam bottom beam side slab soffits cantilever slab removal of form works are for 24 hours 7 days 14 days 21 days 28 days these are the different criteria for removal of form work these are the five steps involved in construction of rcc slab thank you so much for watching this video friends i hope you have learned something from this video for more videos please subscribe my youtube channel dnd construction